Well, hello, welcome everybody to another Facebook Friday, right? It's another Frilici Friday and, ooh, frog in my throat already. Oh my goodness, <clears throat> excuse me. So yeah, I'm so glad you guys can join me. I'll be um, just chatting here for a sec while I watch people pop on, um, get the eyeballs coming. Hello, Miss Susan, welcome, how are you doing? Thank you so much for joining me today. So. Yes, and like as I always like to say hello Sharon um, to kind of start out the videos is welcome if you have never joined me before either on the live, watching later on um, the Facebook group, or hey Nancy over on our YouTube channel. Thank you so much, Jamie. Hello. I know you guys are probably all looking for me. All of a sudden, um, it was like, oh my gosh, it's time to like go live. And yeah, I was not quite <laughs> ready to do that. So thank you guys for your patience there. So yeah, so anyway, we have a hello, Wendy. How are you doing? Oh my goodness. Thank you guys so much. Hello, Alice in Massachusetts. It's good to have everybody here. I'm still like rubbing my lotion in my hands. It's what I do. Like I say hello, and then I'm down here rubbing my hands together, my lotion because um, I hate having dry hands, right? So yeah, so we are going to be featuring our awesome new product of the week this week, which is the, and I'll show you this in more detail when we flip the camera down, but the Forever Greenery Designer Series Paper. Look at that beautiful pack of paper, right? So all week long, we've been having fun with that Forever Greenery product of the week over, or while well, over right here, hello Susie, on our Facebook group. I've been featuring lots of fun um, projects featuring that paper. We are actually going to make a couple of awesome projects today on Facebook Live with the Forever Greenery Designer Series paper. So that'll be awesome. Some fun new stuff, right? And then also make sure you hop over to my blog later on this afternoon at Gathering Ink with a K, GatheringInspiration.com. I will have pictures. Uh, thank you. It is awesome. DSP, isn't it, Susan? Um, I will have pictures of the projects that we're going to demonstrate um, on Facebook Live. Good morning, Nancy. Happy birthday, Nancy. I was thinking about that this morning. I'm like, it's Nancy's birthday today. Woo, 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 woo. Happy birthday, Nancy. Hello, Diana. So glad you guys can join us. So yeah, over on my blog, gatheringinspiration.com, we'll have pictures of the projects that we demonstrate. I will include um, all of the product codes and dimensions so that you can recreate the projects and also order what you need to actually be able to recreate the projects. Hey, Philomena, many of these things that we will be using, hey, Erin, are not available. <clears throat> oh, I don't know, Susie. I'm, gonna, I'm still trying to decide on that one. I'll have to keep you posted on that. I know it's beautiful, isn't it? Um, yeah, okay, so always losing my train of thought. <laughs> You're so cute, Susan. Happy birthday, Nancy, with little party party hats. <laughs> Good morning, Betty. So glad everybody can be popping on here. So yeah, where was I at? Oh, um, right, yeah, so hop over to my blog. We'll have item codes, um, pictures, dimensions, everything that you need to recreate the projects and um, actually order products. That's where I was at. So yeah, many of the products that we are going to use on these projects are like sneak peeks of new stuff, so you won't be able to order until June 3rd, which is next Wednesday. All right, I gotta get this straight in my brain here, right? So we have our last few days of ordering out of... I have all my catalogs right here, don't I? Well, kind of. I don't have one of them. I don't, oh yeah, I do. Okay, so right, last, last couple of days. Hey, Debbie, thank you for sharing of ordering out of the spring mini catalog and our current annual catalog, okay? So don't miss out, right? Make sure you get everything you want that's retiring out of these catalogs because you only have a couple more days to do that. I know I kind of feel like at this point every year, I feel like a broken record, but there's always somebody who says, oh, I missed it. I didn't get that paper or that stamp set or whatever. So I just highly encourage you to take one last look Go to stampinup.com, click on, there's like a box, I always say box or banner that says last chance products. Click on that and just take one last review through there and make sure that you have gotten everything that you want that is retiring out of those catalogs. 
because, um, let's see, it's midnight Mountain Standard Time on Tuesday, June 2nd is like the boom, there's no more time. You cannot order out of um, those catalogs the retiring product because then we have our new catalog that is coming out. So anything that's in here will be available to order. I guess, um, I'm not even gonna say that. Um, yeah, anything that's in here will be available to order. No, I guess I have to because it's on my brain now. The Stampin' Cut and Emboss Machine is featured in this catalog, so if you have your hands on a copy of it, you're gonna see it in here, but it's not available to order quite yet. Not the, the regular Stampin' Cut and Emboss Machine or the Mini. They're both, they haven't even told us quite when yet, but as soon as I know, I will let you guys know, okay? But everything other than that is gonna be available to order starting, and I, I made notes, I wanna make sure I get it right, because um, they have to like, you know, shut the website down and kind of convert everything over. So they said to give them until noon Mountain Standard Time on Wednesday, June 3rd. That's when for sure you'll be able to get on to stampinup.com and order out of the new catalog. So again, Wednesday, June 3rd, so next week on Wednesday at noon Mountain Standard Time. They they definitely said they'll have it all done. Now the hope will be, you know, maybe we can get on there a little bit earlier and even start ordering um, before that. But we'll just have to see. So noon Mountain Standard Time uh, next Wednesday, June third is when you can order out of the new mini catalog. Well, not mini, not the new annual catalog. Although it's minier, it's not quite as thick. Yeah, I have this one spiral bound, so you can't even tell. But it's not as thick as um, our previous annual catalogs. I think they, they're, either, I think they're gonna maybe put a little bit more in the mini catalogs too. So that'll be fun. We're not gonna worry about those just yet because we have lots of fun stuff to play with in the new annual catalog. So yeah, many of the things that we're gonna use on the projects are from the new annual catalog. Um, again, ordering starting new, noon Mountain Time on Wednesday, June 3rd. I'm gonna have that. <laughs> By the time it's come and gone, I will have that down for sure. So. Yeah, so for example, um, actually, well, not I won't show you those cards yet, but if you put in an online order of at least $30, you will get the projects that I'm gonna demonstrate again that feature the Forever Greenery Designer Series paper. You will also, if you bump your order up to $50, get to pick from either the May Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial or um, a package of pearls. And then actually starting on June 1st, if you order on June 1st or after, we will have a new embellishment and a new June um, Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial. So um, those will be available. You can pick from either one of those with over a $50 order starting on June 1st, June stuff, or if you do it still in May, right? Um, and I would encourage you, if you want retiring product to get it while you can, don't wait. Um, we can work something out. Honestly, if you'd rather have the June PDF tutorial, I can get that for you. I am so flexible like that. I want everybody to be happy, but I want you to get what you want when you can too. So hello, Miss Charlene. Thanks for joining us. Um, okay, so let's see. Did I mention all of that stuff? I think, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, we're good. Um, yeah, wow, I like already jumped around and I'm all like confused confused myself. <laughs> it happens so easily these days. All right, let's get those catalogs out of them. So I think we are ready to do our first drawing. Let's just jump right in because I have so much to show you to flip the camera down. So we're going to, I'm going to talk a little bit more and then we will um, flip the camera down. So thank you for sharing, Philomena. Perfect lead in there, right? Um, so yes, we have names right here in the fun little blue trash bin if you shared last week's video or if you're new to me and just signed up for my email list your name is in this little basket right here we are giving away this week this is the petal pink rhinestones these are retiring they are a beautiful package you can see all the different shapes too i think that's what was so cool about them is that they give you a bunch of different shapes in there too so all right, we're going to shake names around and let's get this drawing. Let's see who is the winner of the Petal Pink Rhinestones. I always have to like shift them around a bit because they get a little bit stuck together. Okay, so 
one name in my hand. <laughs> Miss Philomena. Okay, you need to go buy a lottery ticket. I can't even get that into view. Is that right? Okay, anyway, I promise it says Philomena. So congratulations. And Alice, thank you for sharing. That was perfect timing. Oh, thank you, Susan. I'm glad you enjoy the, the product giveaways. Yes, thank you, thank you. So Philomena, I will get these little petal pink rhinestones sent out to you. All right. So I've got another fun product to give away um, on next week's Facebook Live, right? So again, if you share the, this video right now, people are already sharing, which I so appreciate. Thank you so, so, so much. Um, but yeah, share the video anytime between now and next Thursday evening. I don't even give a time anyway. Just share the video as many times as you would like. As many times as you share, your name goes in the drawing. And then also, if you're new, you're welcome, Philomena. Um, if you're new to me and um, you sign up for my email list, your name also goes in there. And this week, we are going to give away, I have been loving these. I, I have used them so, so, so much. But those are the awesome, the gold gilded gems, one of the new products that we've been able to order out of the new um, annual catalog. So the gold gilded gems is what we'll give away on next Friday's Facebook Live. We'll do that drawing, so. Okay, I'm gonna scoot those out of the way too. Um, oh, I have to show you guys. So it's gonna be a little bit backwards because it is backwards, right? But hey, Rosemary, how are you? So glad you could be here with us. So this is a beautiful card featuring a bunch of new product. And I'm gonna be honest, I don't even know the names of some of these things, but I just have to share. <laughs> yes, you got your Stamparatus, awesome, Miss Susan. Yeah, you're gonna love all the stamping that you can do with that, right? So check this card out. So this is from my downline. Hey, Vina, this is from Jamie Sanders. So thank you, Jamie, this card was beautiful, totally made my day. She's got the cute little saying that it says, just saying hello, and I love how she used. So this is the new, a new stamp set that I don't think I have. It might be the Tasteful Textures stamp set. This is a new die that I have no idea what the name of it is right now. And then this is some of the new designer, it's like a flower designer series paper. Jamie, you can give me the names of all these things, I bet, right? I'm like totally floundering on names of everything because I haven't learned them very well yet. But this is the beautiful new, so the one reason why I don't know it very well is we played online bingo the other night and I wanted to give everybody a bunch of new product. So I ordered a bunch of things and then like literally I just um, pulled it all apart and um, sent it out to everybody. So this was one of the things, they all got a little sampler. Um, oh, Many Mates Dies. Okay, that's what this one is, the Many Mates Dies. Yes, thank you, Erin. And let's see, oh, Flowers for Every Season Designer Series Paper. Yes, that's what this one is. And if you can kind of see, it's it features all of our new ink colors too. So the pink is the um, Magenta Madness, the blue is the Misty Moonlight, the yellow is the uh, Bumblebee, the green is just Jade, and maybe there's no, I don't see the cinnamon. Um, unless it's hiding behind there, but that, so anyway, that's what's fun about that Flowers for Every Season paper is it features all of our new ink colors too. So, and what's kind of cool is you can see, so Jamie could not have had, say, the Bumblebee ink pad yet because we haven't been able to pre-order that, but um, Crushed Curry is a really good substitute, so she may have used that um, on that stamp there too. So sorry, it's not very good, but... Okay, and Poppy Parade ink, yes, yes, that works too, yeah. It's fabulous. I know that's what's kind of cool is our colors can kind of bend um, to what we need them to be too. So thank you, Jamie. I just, I love this card and so much of this. I do have these dies and stamp set, but I don't have the many mates dies. And I, like I said, I kind of got and then gave away. So I, I was like flipping through it like, oh, this paper is beautiful. And then I sent it all off to everybody playing bingo. So it was fun to at least get a quick peek at it. So thank you, Jamie. I love, and then she decorated the inside too. So she put the little strip of DSP down at the bottom and then you are the best with some stamping in there and had a really nice note. So thank you. Thank you, Jamie. That made my day. And you have the most beautiful handwriting too, like beautiful cursive handwriting. Yeah, mine's my penmanship. As I get older too, it's like when I write, my brain like forgets letters or something as I write. So I'm like going back and inserting, <laughs> like I really know how to spell. And some days I'm like, oh my gosh, that really doesn't look like I know how to spell anything. So, oh yes, more info than you needed to know. I'm sure that's just, <laughs> it all falls out some days, right? 
Okay, so let's do our other, well, I'm gonna call it a drawing, but I actually only had one online order last week, so it's not even really a drawing. So this person that put her online order in last week gets these two cards that I demonstrated because she put in an order of over $30. So I'm gonna send her these cards or the make and takes. You guys know that every week you let me know, do you want fully completed cards or do you wanna make the cards yourself? You need your own stamps and ink if you get the make and takes though, because I can't do the stamping in packages and send those to you, okay? so. She's gonna get those cards. Her name, ha ha ha, went in the drawing, right, for the Brights Designer Series Paper Pack. And because she bumped her order up to $50 or more, she got to pick from the Demo Design, D, the Demo Design Dream Team PDF Tutorial. Let me tell you, I did not name that because holy mackerel, I can never even say it right. Or she could pick from a package of pearls. So yeah, lots and lots of good stuff. So. Boop, ba, do, 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 do. The winner is Miss K. I'm oh, there. We go. If I angle it just right, Miss K. Jacoby wins all that good stuff. So she gets the paper and the cards. I love. I want to make a million more of that card too. This every time I saw it in my stamp studio this week, I'm like, oh, that paper is just gorgeous. So I think I do have a little bit more paper. So I'm gonna like I have to make a couple more of those before I um, put retire retire that paper anyway, right? So congratulations, Miss K. I will be sending those fabulous prizes out to you this week as well. Um, where's my next? Okay, so do you guys wanna see what we're gonna draw for? I've got new product. I finally was able to get something new to share with you guys. So if you put in your online order of at least $30, use the host code I'll give you in just a little bit, you will get the projects I demonstrate and your name is gonna go in the drawing to win. Can you see? And we are actually gonna use this because you can't even read the name of it. It is the Tasteful Textile 3D Embossing Folder. This is what we're gonna um, put your name in the drawing for on next Friday if you put in your online order using the host code, which, like I said, get your retiring last chance stuff, go through that list one more time, um, and then you can put your first order in of new catalog stuff on Wednesday, June 3rd anytime after noon Mountain Standard Time, okay? All right, um, I think we are good because I have so much I wanna show you um, with the camera facing down today, so we're gonna do that. Um, plus, I really need a haircut, so this is good. I'm like, <laughs> I won't have to like look at myself anymore. So, okay, all right, turn your heads away, I think, right? Yeah, we're gonna move it. If I have to move it back, we, we can, but I don't think I have to. Okay, so turn your heads away for a sec. We are gonna flip the camera down and around and show you some more good stuff. Sorry, oh, there we go. That felt funny there, trying to get that out. Okay, flipping. All right, there. We're good, aren't we? Okay, you guys can see me, right? All right, let's see. I'm gonna put my glasses on my head in case I need them. Um, you know what I will do? Let's see. Where is my, here, I'll put this right here now just for a sec. So if you guys have been wanting info, there's your host code. Um, that's what you're gonna wanna use to put your orders in to get all the good freebie stuff from me. Okay, so first thing I wanna show you, cause last week I kinda talked about the In Color Club, but I didn't have a good example of everything that you receive. And now I kinda do. I don't have everything in the new in colors yet but I kind of substituted so for example in color club every single <laughs> Sharon you are not alone on the haircut I know it's getting bad it's really at the point of like wow I you know those the paper snips I think could do pretty a pretty good job on my hair if I had to so <laughs> I have done that on like bang trimming before so you never know what could happen, but I'm gonna try not to. So, okay, so back to In Color Club, right? So for example, and I think I showed this, I don't know if I did or not, right? But hi, Pam in North Carolina. So glad you can join us. Thank you, thank you. So the idea behind the In Color Club is that you can get all of the colors, right? All of our In Colors kind of on a budget. So every month 
four and it's $47 per month for five months because there are five different in colors, right? You get all of this product, which means, right, you get a full pack of cardstock. So pretend this is all just jade. I had to substitute some Bermuda Bay stuff, but this is the idea, right? So this is everything you get. A full package of cardstock. You get an ink pad, you get the ink refill, you get the new, this I do have, the Just Jade Twill ribbon. You get a Just Jade marker, and then you get the Just Jade Stamp and Write markers, or Stamp and Blends, I guess I should say. And then you get the Designer Series paper the just jade so we've got the wood grain on one side and then kind of the texture and then on the other side are the super cute polka dots and the teeny tiny I call it typewriter print so you get all of this product for $47 each month so every month you'll get a new color right so by the end you'll have all five of the in colors in all of the product that the in colors come in right and the best part is and I didn't oh actually I do have these one month you get to pick $20 in free product what Whatever you want, you tell me. And then you also get a package of the new 2020, 2022 in color enamel dots. You can see I've used a few of them, but they come in all of our in colors. And they're fun because they're all the same size which a lot of times I like because if I'm doing a bunch of um, one project and they have different sizes, then I'm really limited. Like I have to get a couple packs in order to have the size um, dot that I want. So I like that you get um, all the same size in all of those colors, okay? So this free and $20 in free stuff if you join the club. So let me know because the first In Color Club order is gonna go in on Wednesday, June 3rd after noon Mountain Standard Time. So make sure you let me know if you're interested in Color Club. I can send you PayPal invoices each month. You can write a check and mail it to me. I'm easy, whatever you wanna do, okay? So let me know if you're interested in that, right? I love, like this is the, the best way to get everything in all of our in colors and you get it over five months. So it comes really quickly and then you have everything that you need to use for the next two years in all of our in colors. So fabulous way to get everything in all of our in colors. And I have to show you guys, because I think these are so cute. This is another great example. Let's flip flip these around a little bit. Here we go, let's do that. So these are all of our in colors. So one month you would get everything in Cinnamon Cider, then say the next month in Magenta Madness, and then there is, ooh, and even the paper matches. The next month you'd get everything in the Just Jade, and then in Bumblebee, and the last month you would get Misty Moonlight, for example. Okay, so awesome way to get all of the product in all of our new in colors. And the in colors are beautiful. You're gonna have so much fun. So many great ideas already out there with our new in colors. Okay, let's scoot that stuff out of the way. So what do I wanna tell you guys about next? Too many papers. <laughs> okay, I can do this. So next thing I want to tell you guys about, actually, let's move this over here. I'm a flyer girl. Anybody that, <laughs> that comes to classes knows this. Um, when I pack your orders up, I'm always putting flyers in people's orders. So for example, because I want to make sure that everybody even online knows about this since I don't pack your orders. If you order online, it comes right from Stampin' Up, right? So I do this and I've done this every summer for the past few years and I absolutely love to give um, kind of incentives for coming to classes because sometimes summer can be a little bit harder business-wise and you know, everybody's out having fun um, and hopefully we can start having events, right? So this is the idea. All summer long, so June 1 through August 31, you earn entries into a drawing that I do. I'm going to do the drawing at the beginning of September because at that point I want to be able to give new holiday catalog product away, okay? So all summer long you can be earning entries as follows. You get one uh, for each event that you attend. So that's even, say if we do an online bingo this summer, you attend online bingo, you get one entry in the drawing, right? So either local um, or um, online events, right? You get two tickets for each $50 you spend. And again, that's um, in person or online. You get two entries into the drawing each time you post a picture of a project that you made like the ones that I demoed on that week's Facebook Live to our Facebook group. You have to make sure to use the code SUPERSUMMER or the hashtag, I guess I should say. It's SUPERSUMMER GIVEAWAY, OK? 
okay? That's the hashtag you want to use, hashtag super summer giveaway, when you post a project. Because what I'll do is at the end of August or very beginning of September, I'm going to go back and search anybody that's posted um, a project that uses the hashtag super summer giveaway and posted a picture of a project like I made on our Facebook group that week, you're gonna get your name two, actually two entries in the drawing. So for example, if this had already started, if you made a project either using the Sia Silhouette Designer Series paper or the garden paper that I've already blanked out on, or you use the layout. So if you kind of, if you use this layout or if you use that layout on a card, Post it to our Facebook group with the hashtag Super Summer Giveaway and your name. You'll get two entries into the Super Summer Giveaway drawing, okay? Also, uh, if you bring a new guest to class, you get two entries. If you join a club, which includes Paper Pumpkin and In Color Club that I just told you about, you get three entries into the drawing. If you buy the starter kit for me between August, and this is all between June 1 and August 31, you get five entries into the drawing. And if you hold your own private party or class, we can do it down at the stamp studio, you get another five entries into the drawing. Okay, so all summer long, I'm going to be tallying entries, basically each event that I do, each order that you place, I'm putting your name in the drawing all summer long, and then we will do the drawing at the very beginning of September for new holiday catalog product, which we're not even talking about that yet because we have too much to play with, too much fun to be had in the annual, the new annual catalog right now. But it's funny because Stampin' Up's already talking about the holiday catalog, and I'm like, wait a minute, we haven't even had a chance to play with the annual catalog stuff, right? Okay, um, what else do I want to show you? Let's do, here, I'm going to move that host code back in there. That kind of got winged all over the place. It helps me because every, <laughs> it's almost like my camera gets mounted in a little bit different place every time. So this helps me know if I'm like in view because I might be like over here talking <laughs> if I'm not careful. Okay, so, okay, you guys, I have to show you I, I kind of flashed this up here, right? So let's move that up a little bit there. Can you guys all see? If I move that, that's pretty good, right? Okay, so this is the new, the Forever Greenery Designer Series paper. So the, I attended in like an online leadership event, um, not, well, attended. <laughs> it was held last weekend, and I've been kind of this week, um, and I haven't even been able to get through everything yet. But I did most of the make and takes because I love those, right? So there's a bunch of training that I need to kind of still listen to, which is awesome. But one of the fun things that we did was these were some of our make and takes. So we this is a sampler basically showing all of the patterns of the Forever Greenery Designer Series paper. The really cool thing is we also list... So these are all of the colors that coordinate with our car, with our designer series paper. And then we got little one inch circle punches in all of those colors. Um, so it's like a quick, easy reference. So I love, this is, this I loved, we made these last year too, and it was a fabulous way, um, cause it's almost easier visually to look at like the colors that coordinate and know um, which ones you wanna use on a project. So I have been loving these uh, since last year as well. So this is one of them that we made. We couldn't make all um, with all of our designer series paper because we couldn't order everything just yet, but I'm gonna show you the ones that I did make. So this next one, this is our World of Good Specialty Designer Series paper. And this is really, can you guys see, maybe I should have like, I'll like zoom in a little bit too so you guys can see the patterns, right? So this is kind of map paper, if you will. Now these are two by two inch squares, so you don't get the full effect, you know, the full 12 by 12, but those are all of, oh, and this is our new brass foil. <laughs> Susie, I'm not sure. I will have to let you know. Um, yeah, let, I will have to keep you posted on those, okay, Susie? Thank you for asking, though. I appreciate that. Because they are, let me tell you, <laughs> the, the one of the reasons why I hesitate is because you need a ton of Whisper White cardstock in order to print these all out. And I was literally like scrounging last time I did these. And then also it's a ton of work to cut up all of these little um, paper pieces too. So I'm still thinking about that, but I will keep you posted on those, Susie. All right. So yes, World of Good Specialty Designer Series paper. So it's got some really pretty brass um, accents in there. 
um, and then the new brass foil paper, which looks very much like uh, gold. So it's kind of funny, when they sent all these circles, I was glad she mentioned, now make sure you look and see which one is gold and which one is brass, because that's very similar, but it's got a little bit more of a kind of a coppery look to it. And then here, this is our Ornate Garden Designer Series paper, which you guys have maybe seen, right? <laughs> and you'll help me cut. Actually, Sally, now that I'm saying that, though, I did get a new paper cutter um, that's going to do, like, multiple sheets. Um, so I'm super excited about that. I just need to – um, the littler cuts are a little bit harder on those big paper cutters. So I'm working on it. I'll, I'll keep you posted. For now, just enjoy what we have here, right? Okay. So, again, the Ornate Garden Specialty Designer Series paper so this is can you kind of see this is gold and that's brass so you can kind of see not that one but brass and gold so you can see if this one's a little bit brighter and that one's a little bit deeper I can tell the difference here more than I could the other day in my craft room but again the beautiful ornate garden designer series paper right and then lastly this was the other one that we could order was the In Good Taste Designer Series paper. Now this one is like a mega pack. So you actually, can you see? So this is all front and back. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six different pieces of paper and then front and back. So you have 12 total. Well over here, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, we have 12. So we have a double the number of sheets of designer series paper. So the price is a little bit more too. Um, <laughs> you guys are all so cute. Even pictures would work. Yes, that's true. That's true, Sharon. Um, so yeah, this one is like a double pack. So instead of just six different designs, we have 12 different front and back designs. So you end up with 24, right? 24 different um, possibilities of front and back. And then these are all, in order to fit everything on, these actually had to be cut down to like a one and three quarter inch square, because you can see they wouldn't fit like that, right? And then we just kind of sprinkled the um, coordinating color stock throughout too. But many of these, this is like your home improvement, I feel like, um, designer series paper. It looks like I went to Home Depot and took a bunch of pictures of like, I think that kind of looks like drywall mud or something, right? And then um, some wood grain, some texture, maybe on a chair or something, more wood grain, um, some tile. Anyway, it's so, so cool. Some bricks right there and right there. Love this one. That's one of my favorite patterns too. This one looks um, almost... Mm, I'm like a like a blanket or something too. So beautiful, very very um, trendy, like on trend paper here as well too. So keep in mind now the designer series paper share. That's one of the reasons why I wanted to show you these because you would get a quarter. I kept saying a sample, and then I'm like, well, maybe people want to know, right? So this is the designer series paper share. You get a quarter of a pack of all of these papers. And then, okay, listen, these are all the ones I still have to fill in. So there's Artistry Bloom paper. I can't show you the catalog or I would. The Peony Garden paper, Playing with Patterns paper, Playful Pets paper, Whale of a Time paper, Flowers for Every Season paper. And then we also have, so that's a quarter of a pack of all of those that I just showed you, right? Then you're actually going to get a half a pack because like the Neutrals Designer Series paper. So for example, this paper that came in our In Colors, you get four of each in a pack. Let's see, one, two, three. Well, I use some. <laughs> that's not a good example. Here, we'll look at the, I haven't used this color yet. Cinnamon cider. Yeah. So normally in the in color paper, you get four of each of these, but in the neutrals and the regals and the subtles and the brights, you only get two of each of these, right? So I, I'm going to do a half a pack of each of these. So everybody's going to get one sheet of each of these, if that makes sense, in the neutrals and in the regals and in the subtles and in the brights. Okay, all of that, and let me check my pricing because I can't remember it now. Um, it is $65, again, for a half, I'm sorry, a quarter of a pack of most of our paper, and then a half a pack of each of the Suttles, 
Brights, Regals, and Neutrals paper. $65, and it's an awesome deal. I am not doing any upcharging on any of that. Basically, I take the cost of all of our paper, I add in the tax and the shipping, divide it by four, and that's what you pay. So that's where the $65 comes from. If you need it shipped to you, it's an additional $8 uh, priority mail shipping. And then you're also gonna get, oops, that's the brights. You're also gonna get um, a half a pack of our 2019-21 in color assortment pack. So you're gonna get one of each of these in um, the, the in colors from last year, which, can I remember those? No, I'm not gonna do it right now. But you know last year's in colors that have been out for a year. <laughs> My brain is fried right now. So, okay, let me know if you guys have any questions on that. I would love, you guys can see just from kind of looking at these samplers here, right? All of our beautiful paper. Why not get a quarter of a pack of each of them, check them out, and then decide which ones you love and want more of. It's a great way to get a little, a sample basically of everything in the catalog, okay? All right, let's see here. So I'm gonna scoot these guys out of the way, right? And I think, oh, I should say too, for the designer series paper um, shares, that first order is gonna go in on Tuesday also. I'll put additional orders in, but as many people as I can get, I wanna get in that very first order because I'm gonna priority um, ship them, not priority, anyway, UPS today. I'm gonna get them here as quickly as possible so I can get them cut and sent back out to you guys super quickly as well because orders have been taking way too long and I can't stand it right now. So anyway, enough about that. Um, okay, I think, let me just do a little double check here, but I think we have talked about everything. So, oh, I know, I've actually got a couple more little thingies to show you guys. Mm. So another great idea with our Forever Greenery Designer Series paper, if you've been following along on our Facebook group all week long, I have been posting, I didn't post all of them, but the idea is this um, designer series paper, a 12 by 12 piece of designer series paper, you guys have all heard of something called a one sheet wonder, right? So what you can do is you take that 12 by 12 piece of paper and you cut it so that, and this is front and back. So the one side has this floral print and the other side has those um, stripes on it. But can you see, you can make all of these cards, we're getting them all in view here, with one sheet of designer series paper. If I move them over a little bit more, right? So this is one side and then the stripes are the other side. I didn't use too many stripes, but look at how cool these are, right? So one sheet of designer series paper, a one sheet wonder makes all nine of these cards. So I had to share that with you. This is my favorite pattern. That's the, I had to pick it and show you guys. Um, and I love the flowers. I think because they've got the pretty peacock color in there too. And a lot of them, the other ones, oops, oh shoot, sorry, I just bumped that. Um, a lot of the others, so you can see that's this one right here, right? Most of the others, this one has a little bit of pretty peacock in it, um, but the rest of them are all more just the greens. Um, but thank you guys, I loved. <laughs> um, this one sheet wonder was not my idea, um, but the, the idea to use this designer series paper on them was my idea, I love. So let me show you, so that's one set of them, right? And then another set, we also used, I guess I should kind of show you guys that too. So we used some gilded gems, we used the butterfly punch in vellum, you can see right there, and then also these are in uh, Pretty Peacock in this case. You guys are all so funny, I know. I'm sorry, I'm missing some of the comments too because I'm like so excited to show you guys this stuff. This was the So Sentimental stamp set and then the Stitch So Sweetly dies. They just worked really, really well on these cards. Okay, so then here's another example. This is another one of the papers. I'm gonna have to go back through and read your comments later, guys, because I'm missing some of them, I think. But look at all of these cards. Can you guys see? I'm totally not like in view, but this is, I'll show you, this pattern right here. So one side we made with that and then the other side we did some of those too. So again, one 12 by 12 piece, cut it up and this is what you can make, all nine of these cards. Can you guys see all those? Very, very cool. We also featured, so this is some of the new um, Forever Greenery ribbon combo pack. So this, 
is just this really soft, beautiful, it's a very vanilla actually, ribbon, right? And then some of the gold trim too. And this, I tell you, it does come apart, um, but that's kind of pretty in itself too. It's all wound up, but it does tend to kind of come apart a little bit also. So thank you guys. I'm just kind of seeing some of your comments and I apologize, I'm missing some of them too. So I always go back through and read them all and thank you and respond and comment. So I appreciate all of your comments, but yeah, these, aren't they just, it really shows off the designer series paper too. You can really get an idea like with that one and that one, how pretty the paper is also. And how simple, right? The cards are not difficult. We actually made these um, on our Facebook Live, um, our Inkspired Stampers Facebook group. We do um, uh, meetings every month and those were our make and takes this month. And so we made all nine of those cards on our Inkspired Stampers um, group meeting. Was that last week, I think? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, the days all run together right now, don't they? So I wanna show you one more project with that designer series paper. So this is one actually, this is a swap. I know the colors in the paper are just beautiful, aren't they, Vina? Um, so this was a swap that I made and I have sent it in and I believe I'm gonna be getting the swaps. I don't know if I'm gonna have them in time for next Friday. It might be the following Friday, but I'll show you guys those. Oh yeah, that's right, Sharon. We did make all nine of those in less than an hour. Of course, I have to tell you, I did a lot of, no, I, no, Lily. <laughs> she has been my big shot queen. So hold on, back to this for a sec. She did all of the die cutting for all of the dies and then all of the punching for all of these things. Like she did, I don't even remember. I made a list of how many of each of these sizes that we needed, all the punching and all the die cutting. So yeah, that helped definitely to keep it under an hour because Lily did so much of the prep work for us. So yes. Okay, so back to, this is my swap card featuring again, more of the forever greenery designer series paper so it's this pattern right here <laughs> sharon i know we all need a lily yeah she's like well you know since she's not in school right she's got a lot of extra free time so i've been taking advantage of that that is for sure <laughs> yes i know she's not for rent though well maybe she could be for the right price <laughs> yeah yeah, she'd probably do it for, for a fee. <laughs> she's trying to find ways to make some money this summer because she's only 15, so she can't find, you know, like a real employee, employed, you know, job quite yet. So anyway, okay, so sorry, I keep like talking over. So this was my swap that featured the Forever Greenery Designer Series paper. It also features the beautiful, this is the Forever Fern stamp set. So you can see I use this one right there and that one right there, right? And then, yes, I bet she is getting there, Sharon. Yes. Yeah, Lily was a great help even at a much younger age too. So yeah, she'll be a beautiful help also. And then these are the dies. So you can see these images are all cut out with these dies. And these are kind of fun because they're like the mirror, right? But then there are a bunch of others like this one and this one right there and there that you can kind of complement. They're complementary, right? To the other dies in there that you can stamp with. And then beautiful sentiments in here too, right? You can do this, hello, love and laughter forever after and to a friend that makes me smile, right? So this project I will be uploading to YouTube so that you can know exactly um, everything that I use to make this, um, dimensions, colors, all of that good stuff. That'll be this week, I'll upload that, or next week, I guess I should say, once um, I can show the inside of the catalog, because on my video I definitely showed the inside of the catalog. So I have to wait until June 3rd to get this uploaded. But if you're curious about how to make this, watch for that next week on my YouTube channel, okay? And that is the Gathering Ink with a K, Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio. YouTube channel is where you find that. Okay. So, all right. I think we are ready to do our stamping now. So we are actually going to use this stamp and those dies. So we'll keep those out. Okay. Let's grab, I'm going to grab some grid paper. That would be a good idea, right? Let's put that up there. Okay. I know it is a beautiful bundle. Um, Sharon, I have loved playing with that. Okay, which one do I want to show you guys? Hold on. I need some water. Oh, just because I'm looking at my note right now, I'm always trying to give you guys my phone number. So if you need any help with anything, you can call or text me. My number is 989 
330-0259. And it's always on the bottom of every single email that I send to. So if you can't find or can't remember my phone number, didn't jot it down, um, you can find it at the bottom of every single email, like in the, the very bottom of the email, right? Okay, um, scooting this one out of the way. So let's do, we're gonna do this one first because it features, okay, can you see? Oops, there, now we're in view. This is the new Tasteful Textile. So this, this embossing folder that we're gonna give away free with your $30 order, the Tasteful Textile embossing folder. So it's just, it's kind of like the subtle embossing folder, but it's more, there's more to it, but it's still very subtle as well, right? We use some of this ribbon, which we used most of it on, um, on my downline make and takes in those um, one sheet wonder cards I just showed you. So I have a little strip of it left. You're gonna laugh when you see <laughs> how I used uh, what I have left to make this card with, but it'll work, right? And then this is some more of that forever greenery designer series paper. So that pattern is that one right there, and then that's the back side of it too. So, oh yes, and Sally, yes, I've been using the magnetic sheets, and that's the actually the other thing that Lily has been doing for me. These got tucked away, I think, because they were with my card for the video. So she did them all except this one. So when I get more, I kind of do them in slews, right? So yes. Oh, awesome, Susan. Yeah, this embossing folder you're going to love. Yes, so many good ideas. Thank you guys. I love all of your sharing there. All right, let's see. We're going to pull out this one. We need some of those. All right, so here we go. Let me show you. Scoot that one over there, right? Okay, so we start. This is just jade, you guys. It's a really just a soft, pretty kind of a, I say green at first, but I see some blue in it too. They're all kind of dusty. It's funny because I, I didn't expect them to seem dusty looking until um, I'm looking at the cardstock, and that's when I kind of feel that. Um, let's see. Okay, you guys are asking questions amongst yourselves, aren't you? Okay, I'm going to let you respond. <laughs> and if I missed anything, I'll like I said, I'll, I'll catch that later. So here is our Just Jade. This is a full sheet of Just Jade cardstock. Oh, we're not really in view too well, are we there? Let's scoot this up there. Can you guys see? There's the bottom. There we go, Amy. Okay, good, good, good. All right, so along, this time along the eight and a half inch side, we cut it at four and a quarter inches, and then along the 11 inch side, we scored it to make our tall card at five and a half inches, okay? So it's going to go like that, right? Then we have... Lots of pieces here. Let's see. I loved the layers on this one, right? So next, this is a sheet of Pretty Peacock cardstock that measures four inches by five and a quarter inches, okay? And then our piece of designer series paper. There's one side, there's the other side. This one measures three and seven eighths by five and one eighth. And that's how you get just that little peak around the edges there, right? And then we've got a very vanilla piece, and this one measures four and one quarter by three and a half. And then we just have some scrap pieces of um, vanilla to do our stamping, and then these we're gonna do our die cutting with. Oh, I forgot one more. We actually have this piece that is that one right there that we are going to emboss, and then this one measures two, oops, excuse me, two inches by five and one eighth inches. And again, I'll have all the dimensions on my blog this afternoon at gatheringinspiration.com, okay? All right, so let's see, we're gonna do our stamping. So I've got my very vanilla, just this extra scrap piece of very vanilla, and I'm gonna use Pretty Peacock ink, because again, I can tell from my little samplers here, this is my Pretty Peacock. So we've got, I listed them out, Garden Green, this is Just Jade, Pear Pizzazz, Pretty Peacock, Shaded Spruce, Soft Sea Foam, and then the last one is Whisper White down there. So, yes, you guys, okay, I know, you're talking about the vent covers. Yes, they're awesome. Vent covers, Home Depot, Menards, just go to like the heating and cooling section or ask somebody where the vent covers are. Um, yeah, they're like long, you know, like an old old fashioned vent that you wanna cover up and they're magnetic. They're fabulous. Okay, 
There we go. To a friend that makes me smile. Love that sentiment, right? Did I show you? I did, right? Maybe. I don't know. Let's talk about these. You can do this. Hello. Love and laughter forever after. And to a friend that makes me smile. That's the one that we used right down there. Okay, so that's all the stamping that we did. Let's do our die cutting now. Okay. And our embossing too. So we'll do the die cutting first and then I'll show you that super cool new embossing folder. Okay. So we've got that. We are going to put, these are just scraps of, I guess I should tell you that. We've got Pretty Peacock and then this is our new Just Jade. That That is one of them that we're going to cut. So we've got that all ready to go there, right? Okay, let's see. What can we do? Maybe like that and that. Is that going to do it for me? Okay, so then these were all of the dies. The, what are they called? The Forever Flourishing dies. All right, so what do we need? This cute little, almost looks like, I don't know, looks like a baby toy. Why can't I think of what it would be like a caterpillar kind of a toy thingy? I don't know. <laughs> and then we're going to use this one. So I like how those kind of just wrapped around the sentiment, okay? And then from our oldie but a goodie stitched shape dies, this is our circle with the stitching. This is the second largest circle is what we're going to use around our sentiment there. Okay, so I think we have everything there. Make sure that is on. Okay, here we go. We'll crank these things out. <laughs> Sorry, I missed so many of your comments. You guys were like commenting like crazy and I couldn't keep up. I feel bad because usually I feel like I can kind of keep up on things. Okay. So look at, aren't those kind of fun? So there's this one. They look better. Ooh, and it's kind of embossed too. Lily was complaining about this last night. It's so etched in there. They're like sticking. She gave me this one back too. <laughs> there. So those are the fun little dies right there. And now let's do our embossing let's get these guys out of the way okay so we'll do the new is it tasteful textile it, it just looks like like it looks very fabricy. so here you can kind of get a little better idea just by looking at the folder right so i want this to go in straight so i'm going to line it up make sure i'm in view i'm going to line it up along that little line there that down. I got that one. Okay. So yeah, like I said, they um, haven't told us when the new die cutting, the stamp and cut and emboss machine. They haven't told us when that's going to be ready. So as soon as we know, we'll let you guys know. Because I know we're all dying to check it out, right? Sorry, I'm trying to get situated over there. Okay. So, all right, are you ready? Da 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 da. <laughs> okay. Woohoo! Isn't that cool? Look at all of that texture. It just looks like a nubby fabric, doesn't it? Oh my gosh. So there's one side, right? There's like an innie and an outie. I don't know. However you, <laughs> the positive and negative, whatever you want to say about those. But super cool embossing folder there. Okay. So let's see. Okay. Here. Uh, no, I'm going to show you that in a sec because I think it's just too funny. Okay. All right, I think we got everything. So let's go ahead. We're going to start putting things together. This one's a couple of steps, and I had to really think about how I wanted to put this together. Let's bring this kind of back in. Yeah, you guys can see that there, right? Okay, adhesive we need. All right, so I know the first step is going to be to put our designer series paper down, right? So there's a part of me, I've already put too much adhesive on, but there's a part of me that kind of wonders what would this card look like if we did that side instead? Might have to try that on another one. I should have, oh, I wish I would have thought of it sooner, but actually, is that gonna be crazy? I think I, here, let's do this. I'm so curious now to know. This, I have an extra one that's perfectly cut. Eh, no, it's a little bit too wide, isn't it? That's right, Never mind. I was thinking I could use that. Um, next time, I'll, I'll show you the backside next time. Okay, so there's that piece, right? And then we're gonna add our, very vanilla on here. My snails. Like Aaron said the other day, 
my snail's like acting up because it knows it's going to be replaced by the stamp and seal. Oh, speaking of that, if you guys need snails, if you need refills, let me know. I'm happy to get an order in for you so that you get your stockpile if you're going to be missing those, which I know we're all going to be missing those, right? Okay, but I'm really curious about the new stamp and seal too because this is being kind of frustrating. Normally I have only good things to say about snail too. Um, okay, so we're gonna lay this one down on here. Now the next step, we're gonna tie our ribbon around. Okay, so guys, literally this is all I had was like two little strips. You can see I'm at the very end of my ribbon with the tape on it. And then I had this strip I don't know. So I had to tie them <laughs> together so that I could have enough ribbon to show you guys. I'm going to order more next week when I can, but I ordered everything I could. So no one will ever know that that silly little knot is back there, right? So we're going to tie our pretty bow on here. <laughs> oh yeah, you could do it in strips too. You're right. Then then you wouldn't use quite as much. That's a good idea too, Diana. And you know what? I feel like I need to flip this. We're gonna make it go this way because I need a little bit. I want the bow over on this side and I was afraid I was gonna pull too much so the knot in the back might come around the edge, but this is gonna work just fine. This ribbon is really nice to work with. It's so soft. It almost feels like bandaging or something. <laughs> I, I can't remember. I don't know what they call it either, but it's really, it's really nice, um, but so it's so soft. And it makes these cute little, look at like the curly cue it makes there. Ooh, I like that a lot. Okay, there, so good. So we just have enough. I'm gonna snip this off. <laughs> and there's a little tape, but we'll, we'll get that off later, okay? And you guys probably can't even see that. I should just never say those things because you guys are far enough away, right, that you can't, <laughs> you can't even see. The ribbon is beautiful, isn't it, Philomena? Yeah. There. Okay, so we're going to scoot that kind of way around to the edge. Now we can add on our sentiment with some dimensionals, right? It is gauze-like. Yes, Tammy, I didn't even see you were on here. Yes. Yes, that's it. Gauze-like. Yes. Okay. So let's see. We'll scoot this down a little bit more. No, I wanted that down a little bit, right? Okay. So we're going to put that right there to a friend that makes me smile. And then, let's see, we're just going to add, I just kind of tucked these behind the circle a little bit. And I kind of like to have them curl up. Actually, we probably do need a little bit more. There. Okay. So, and you know what, actually, I was realizing that I kind of almost, we're going to do it on both sides, but it's almost like I attached it more to um, back behind my circle, because I was looking at that trying to figure out how am I going to get that to stay on the ribbon, but that's what we'll do. We'll kind of do it on both parts. And then same thing here. We're going to put just a little bit on each of those, and then we're going to tuck this one in. Yeah, I... <laughs> I shouldn't have pressed so firmly. Okay, we'll get that in there, though. Just kind of tuck that little baby, all these little... <laughs> they're so... I put so much adhesive on everything so it would stick. There we go. Okay. There. So we've got all of that kind of layered. And I do kind of like to like lift those up a little bit. And then our bow. Okay. Let's see. We're going to add some more adhesive. I want a bunch of adhesive on these right here and we're going to add all of this on to our card base our beautiful new green just jade card base right and then i just had i needed one more little thing here right so these are again all of the new in colors in the little enamel dots right so we're going to just pick up a couple of these guys and we're going to pop them on our card and there we go what do you guys think you see the texture on there too and that pretty ribbon so fun to a friend that makes me smile i love that sentiment okay so there is one of our cards 
now, let's scoot this one out of the way too, right? Okay. Oh, and I have my little, I'm seeing my note here. You need hair pizzazz ink. Okay, good. I did bring it back. So this is our next card. Thank you, Jamie. I appreciate that. So this is our next card featuring more of our Forever Greenery Designer Series paper. That's this one, this leafy pattern right here, and then this really, I don't know, very interesting pattern. I liked, I don't know, I liked the kind of textury background look, right? And then <laughs> you guys are gonna laugh when I show you the pieces that I'm using. This is more of the Designer Series paper. It is this pattern right here, and then that's what's on the back side, right? Uh, Thank you guys. I'm glad you're enjoying these cards. This one's kind of a fun um, fold, right? So this one, actually the white is a base, right? So we just have one sheet and then this part is what opens up. Isn't that kind of cool? Something a little bit different there. I remember making one like this like a long time ago and being like, ooh, that's so cool, right? Probably like way back when I first started stamping. So, okay, let's get what we need out for this one. All my ink pad colors. Oh yeah, we use a bunch of greens there. I'll show you those in a, in a few moments. Oops, we do, yeah, we need some stamping and die cutting again, okay. Doo -doo -doo. All right, I think I have everything now. All right, so we are gonna start, this is our card base. This is a piece of thick, Whisper White cardstock. That's all, oops, flinging that around. That's all you need to start your card with. And this one is a quarter of a sheet straight up. It's four and a quarter by five and a half. So you could get four of these card bases out of a full sheet of cardstock, right? Four and a quarter by five and a half, all right? Then you have your garden green cardstock that you're gonna use to like fold your card, right? So this piece measures five and a quarter by eight inches and then we scored it at four inches. And once again, I will include all of the dimensions and the item codes for everything on my blog this afternoon. Okay, so that's gonna layer right on there like that, right? Then we have our designer series paper, that beautiful leafy pattern, right? So this one measures five inches by three and three quarter inches. So that's just gonna layer right on there also. And then I've got some scraps of Whisper White um to do our stamping so let's do that okay oh okay my other this is my silly part so again because i used all of my designer series paper on our um one sheet wonder cards for my downline this is what i <laughs> like i had this little i can't remember which way this goes together anyway maybe like that whatever well however this goes together i literally had to like snip it apart so that i could have enough <laughs> to put on there. I would say you normally, if that was three and three quarter inches wide, normally you'd want a strip that is one and a quarter by three and three quarters. But this is all I had, so that's what we're <laughs> using. So, you know, you have to improvise sometimes, okay? And I'll make sure to mention that size there as well, because I'm sure you guys have full sheets of designer series paper that you can use. So, okay. All right, let's do our stamping. So we've got, let me get myself situated here. Okay, so in our shaded spruce ink, this is our first one. We're gonna stamp the big leaves. So tap, 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 press straight down, lift straight up. So, ooh, look at, and I love, this may be a distinctive stamp. Was this, I feel like it could be. I don't know, someone was asking me, I think it was the other night, on um, bingo, whether a stamp was distinctive. And it doesn't stay doesn't say on the um, stamp sets themselves, but I, in the catalog it does. So it kind of feels like it might be. This is Garden Greed ink, and then this is our other leaf we're gonna use. I don't know why I have all these. We don't need all of these, do we? Right, I'm gonna put Garden Green ink. Ooh, look at that. Okay, so there you can kind of see the difference between shaded spruce, it's more of a blue green, and that's more of just a deep, Christmas tree green, I guess. Traditional, not a blue spruce, right? <laughs> and then our pear pizzazz ink. Oh, what do we, oh, I see. I need my hello. I see what we're doing. I need this one later. We're gonna come back to that one. 
Oh yeah, I need those splotches from somewhere too. All right, let's see. Actually, we need shaded spruce ink. So uh, what, why I'm so, um, like what's going on, right? Why is her brain so crazy? Um, I am hosting the celebration celebration event tomorrow in the driveway here at my house because I didn't think we should do it at the studio quite yet because it's not a very big space. And so many things are pulled out for make and takes and what we've been working on for that. So that's why I'm like, where's my ink? Where's this? Where's that? My stamp. I'm missing a, I'm missing the little, um, this little stamp because I know we used it on the make and take. So, oh my gosh. Okay. Sorry. I'm like a little bit crazy here. Not making a lot of sense to you guys probably, right? Okay. So I think we can do our die cutting. Yep. Okay. Let's do that. All right. Here we go. Yes. Okay, good. Thank you, Tammy. The This Forever Fern stamp set is a distinctive stamp set. It sure felt like it when you do the stamping, right? I mean, look at kind of the shading, the lights and darks. Really feels like it would be. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Tammy. All right, so we're going to put these down on here. We're going to grab our dies. So this time I think I need, oops, this one to go around there and this one to go around there. And then, okay, these are my absolute favorite new dies. These are called the Tasteful Labels dies that go with the Tasteful Texture stamp set. These are kind of gonna be like the Stitched So Sweetly dies from the spring catalog. This is your next set of label dies that you are going to have to have. I am telling you what, I've used so many of these dies already and I will continue to use them. So get them as soon as you can so that you can enjoy them for lots and lots of time to come too. So we're gonna use this one. So they've got some different, like some of them, can you kind of see? Some of them are more stitchy and some of them are more liney, I guess I'll say. So can you see that one's more stitchy and then these three are more liney. That one's stitchy, liney, and stitchy. So they've got some different textures. I don't know if I've even run those yet, but they've got some cool detail on those there as well. But yes, these are awesome. Hey, Miss Becky, thank you for sharing. You are so good at that. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to pop these on here. I'm trying to think if I can find the little speckledy stamp that I want. I think I know where it is. I might try to run and grab it real quick. And I actually did stamp it around the hello afterwards. So we're not going out of order in terms of steps just yet, but okay. Woohoo! Love the dies, how they just die cut all of that detail, right? Oh yeah. Okay. So here, let's pull, let's lift this one up here so you can kind of see. We almost wish that would stay in. So it stitches the outside it is more liney stitching i guess i don't know somehow it looks different um on there right okay so there's that one and then it also stitches around the outside of it as well so you can do the inside or you could use this piece and have some fun like a window that would be fun too right okay all right let's scoot these things out of the way and get our pieces back in here okay so this little hello is the one <laughs> One sec. I think I know right where it is. Okay. I found it. <laughs> I'm not moving quickly either. <laughs> All right. So this was what I was looking for. This little stamp. So it's that little. You have to have those little textury things. I cannot. Um, yeah. I just You have to have the little textury things, right? Okay. <laughs> yes, Becky, there are so many beautiful things you can do with this designer series paper. Absolutely. All right, I was trying to find my little, my extra grid paper so I can keep that one pretty. Okay, so we're just going to, I actually stamped off because I want just a little, just kind of lightly. There. Just want a little sprinkle of splatter on there, but I like the little bit lighter look when you stamp off first. Okay, I think we are ready to put our card together now that I have everything like flung all over the place. Let's see, we're gonna put our designer series paper on first. Let's scoot those over a little bit more, okay? So we're gonna add our DSP to our garden green base, and then let's go ahead and just put this right on our card. You want quite a bit of adhesive on 
this piece because this is your actual card that you're going to be opening and closing. So you want to make sure it stays down there really well. We're going to press firmly. Oh yeah, I did this. Oh yeah, this is what I did to myself the other day too. Okay. So with all that being said, don't press too firmly because I need to tie my, Ooh, I wonder if I'm going to be able to do this. I was the other day, but I've added, let's see, right? So if we use our paper snips and we just kind of carefully, all right, good. I got that one. <laughs> oh my gosh. Sorry guys. Let's see if I can get this one. I just don't want to rip it. Okay. <laughs> so we wanted to tie our gold ribbon, our gold trim around here. So I'm going to just lay my paper snips underneath there because I do need to add these little babies. One, and then it's sticking to me. Okay, off my fingers, please. And then this one, what? I don't know what is going on with this snail. There, okay. So we're gonna put one right about there. And then we're gonna do one right there. Okay, so I'm not gonna press super hard because I need to get my gold trim wrapped around here first, and then we can lay this back down again. Okay, yeah, so you know, it happens to the best of us. Okay, I'm gonna put my paper snips back underneath there again. Okay, all right, so we're gonna tie our bow. Let's give ourselves a little bit more to work with there. Okay, so this is super pretty. I love this gold trim. Okay, we're gonna make a bow. Um, I'm going to tell you, though, it's not the easiest to tie a bow with because it's kind of slidey almost. Like it keeps kind of, it's hard to keep it tight. But I've seen lots of pretty loopy things. That almost might be the thing that you want to do is loop it. Okay, I'm going to add just a little bit more adhesive there. Pop that down. We're going to trim that off there. Okay. All right, so we've got our bow, right? And then we can start adding the rest of our leaves and bling and so on. So I love to use my little silicone mat here. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of adhesive. We're gonna layer this guy in here, maybe right about there. And my idea is I have to cover up <laughs> that little um, piece and I'm going to do it with all of these things, right? So I'm going to bring that over a little bit more. There we go. We're going to put some dimensionals behind this little hello piece because I want this one to pop up just a little bit. Okay, so we're going to put that one right about there. And then we have to add a little bit of embellishment to this, right? Because that's good. And I love to kind of curl these up a little bit too, right? But these are the new, what are they called? The In Good Taste Elements. So they're a part of a different suite of products, but I loved, actually, so let me show you. So they're a bunch of little like kind of X's or almost little crosses and then some little dots, right? And then three sheets of the other wooden elements in the leaves. Actually, there are two different kinds of leaves there. You can see them a little better on that side, right? So we're just gonna use one of these little baby leaves right here. Okay, we are gonna get a mini glue dot. And add this to our card. And I should tell you guys, so for the celebration celebration, I emailed everybody. And clearly, if you don't live in the area and qualified, you will not be, you know, attending the event. I will be putting everything together next week and getting it mailed out to everybody that is not able to attend that's long distance. Or if you're local, I'll have it out on the porch for porch pickup, okay? So I finally was able to decide when to do that celebration celebration event and wanted to get it in before this catalog ended, honestly. So then we added just a couple little gold, uh, 
gold, the gilded and the new gilded gems. And that is it. So, whoo, there we go. We made it, ladies. <laughs> a little bit of a struggle at points there today, but what fun, huh? I love all of the the detail on these cards as well. All the pretty the pretty greens, all the different shades of green, right? So, okay. My quick recap, and man, crafter math is very evident around this table today. Wow, ladies. <laughs> okay, so thanks for hanging in there with me today, guys. Uh, if you would like to order any of the products, again, Wednesday, June 3rd at noon Mountain Standard Time is when we can start. No, no, it's 10 a.m., right? Hold on. Now I got me. Nope, it is noon. Noon Mountain Standard Time because it's probably 10 a.m. Eastern. That's why I've got the 10 a.m. in my brain. Yep. So noon Mountain Standard Time, you can order any of the new products like the Forever Fern stamp set, these Flourishing Fern, whatever these dyes are called. I will have all of the item codes for everything on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com. Okay. You will also get both of these projects if you put your online order in of at least $30 and use this host code. You can either get the make and takes or the completed cards. Uh, make sure you use the host code, right? Your name is gonna go in the drawing to win the new tech, Tasteful Textiles embossing folder that we used right there, right? And then if you bump your order up to $50, you will get the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial or a package of the um the free embellishment and i'm seeing sharon saying two o'clock yeah you're right sharon i always go the why do i yeah i go the wrong way oh boy okay we're gonna have to wait a really long time on wednesday now aren't we okay that's all right we can do it thank you <laughs> i'm like going the wrong way with that noon mountain time is two o'clock eastern time yeah okay Thank you, Sharon. You can tell my brain's a little fried. We, Lily and I have been working so hard getting ready for that celebration celebration event too that my mind is kind of all over the place. I don't know how people do it. They have lots and lots of events all the time. This is all I can handle. <laughs> so, all right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see some of you in my driveway tomorrow. Pray for good weather. That's the next thing we need to make sure of. I think it's going to be decent anyway. So have a great weekend. If you're not able to attend Celebration Celebration and you earned your spot, I will be getting everything out to you next week. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope you guys were inspired today and super excited about the new catalog. But don't forget to order your last chance products one last time while you still can. All right. <laughs> Bye. Thanks, everybody.